DDP got the win. He got the belts. A lot of controversy is split down the middle between who people think one half said um, Strickland should have maintained the belt. The other half said DDP got it. So I'm going to keep it real with you. I had Sean Strickland winning. It was it was. Hey, what's going on, fight fans? Hey, this is Coach D the Wild Man coming at you again with another episode of Coach D Media. Now, you know how I do it with Coach D Media. I talk about all things combat sports related from the highs to the lows. All right, let's get back into it. Well, we all know what the conversation is going to be, be about freaking Sean Strickland versus DDP. How it all went down. DDP got the win. He got the belts. A lot of controversy is split down the middle between who people think one half said um, Strickland should have maintained the belt. The other half said DDP got it. So I'm going to keep it real with you. I had Sean Strickland winning. It was it was two to two going into the fifth round. I think Sean Strickland took the fifth round. That's my opinion on that fight, but that's not what the conversation is going to be about. I'm going to throw in my two cents. So before I went and decided to do this podcast, I said, okay, well, let me kind of see what some of the, some of the veterans of the game and the high knowledgeables were talking about. So I listened to Demetrius Johnson talk about it. I listened to, um, um, who else? Uh, Luke Thomas talk about it. The weasel talk about it. You know, I listened to a lot of, a lot of different podcasts talk about it and it was down in the middle. Some have said they feel Strickland should have kept the belt. Other half said DDP got it, so it was down the middle. But what got me was something that I think I have a little bit, I don't want to say knowledge about, but what I feel comfortable having a conversation about. Dominic Cruz was talking about how damage is is part of the scoring, right? Dominic Cruz was talking about, hey, um, DDP is taking the majority of the damage. If, if, it, goes to the, if it goes to the scorecards, you can qualify that as, you know, leaning towards Strickland's doing more damage than than DDP, right? So Luke, when I listened to Luke Thomas, he pretty much said, what the hell is Dominic Cruz talking about? Damage has no has no bearings on the outcome of this fight, right? When it comes to, you know, octagon control, you know, significant strikes, yada, 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 right? So basically he said, Dominic Cruz doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, right? And I beg to differ. I think damage does have a a part to play in scoring, right? Because when you get a fight this close, right? Sometimes damage is the only thing you can you can you can gauge on, right? If it if it's down the middle like it was, it was two to two, right? Who was getting pieced up? It looked like freaking DDP was getting pieced up, right? I was shut, but I'm damn near both eyes were shut. He would beat he would beat up pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Strickland was bleeding too, but in the earlier rounds, it looked like Sean Strickland was doing the most damage. And when you got this fucked up scoring as it is, right, especially when you're in like Vegas or you're in another country, right, getting a clear cut win is damn near impossible, right? Because how it used to be, right, when it came to the belt changing hands, you had to clearly beat the champion in order to get the belt when it came down to came down to being this close normally the belt is not going to change hands back in the early days of of the ufc right because that means you didn't do enough to win right so when you come when you leave it up to the judges and the judges don't seem like they know what the hell they're doing it gets kind of really controversy right and this fight was close nobody really knew who won right Right, but I felt the fifth round was the deciding factor on who won. And that, to me, Sean Strickland did, did the majority of the work right in the fifth round to win the fight. Maybe we should go to the one championship rules with a total body of work decides who wins and who loses. Right? It ain't scored round by round as who who did a better body of work. Right? And then that would be up that would be a, a better debate of who did the who did the better body of work. Right, then trying to trying to do a ten, you know, a ten point scoring system, 
Because these judges, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Right? But Luke Thomas said, uh, freaking Dominic Cruz didn't know what the hell he was talking about when it came to damage. Right? Right? Hey, when all else fails, look at the damage. That Dang it. Right? Especially with these judges. Right? So, but like I said, and listening to, to everybody talk about, I'm not going to say it was a robbery. I re No, it was not a robbery. It was that close. You know, Duplicis was giving it was giving it to, to Strickland, you know, in in certain areas. But like I said, that steady jab down the middle, man, was hit was hitting home. It was money now. It was money. Now, should should Strickland has done a little bit more, right? You know, in in making sure that he's a clear cut winner. Yes, but the takedowns, according to these new rules, takedowns don't don't mean shit. If a, if a fighter bounces back up, it's almost nullified. And if he gets a shot off after getting taken down, it's completely nullified. So that's another area that we can look at. Because Strickland popped up most of the times when he got taken down. Only in the later rounds did he get down and stay down for a certain amount of time to consider it to be a takedown. But if you look at that, all the ones where he popped up, they're considered null and void if he got a strike off. You see what I'm saying? So there's many ways we can look at this and how you break it all down or who won or who lost, right? But uh, but but Luke said, look, Damas has no bearing because I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. He low he low key snuck it in on, on Dominic Cruz now. And don't get me wrong, Dominic Cruz can go on these rants of where the hell you're going, but when it comes to damage, right, you can see DDP got pieced up. He did. His face looked like the fuck up. Right. And I always say, hey, all right, when you're looking at somebody who got fucked up, you look at the guy who he got fucked up. Guess what? He got fucked up. That's 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 my that's my rule on that. If you look like you got fucked up, you got fucked up. See what I'm saying? So I still give it to Strickland. You know, I want to say the first, third and fifth, basically where I'm at on that. Right. But it was clear two to two going in the fifth round. Right. So we'll see where the debate goes, but it's 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 back and forth. It's back and forth. It's it's split down the middle. Right. Controversy all aboard. Right. So but I'm not taking nothing from DDP. It was a good fight. I'm not taking nothing from him. Right. Because these guys, you know, am I a fan of either one? I can't say I'm a fan of either one. Strickland, he he done won me over a little bit more with, with how he made some adjustments in his conversations on the mic, which I like. But you know, he still did enough, you know, bull crap for me to like, eh, you know, and, and I, DDP hasn't won me over yet. So we, we shall see. But yeah, it controversial, you know, and I don't know if Strickland's going to get a, a quick rematch. I think all the shit he's done may not warrant him a quick rematch. And it sucks that he's a one hit wonder. He, got, he just got the belt and then lost the belt. It sucks. Right. DDP was in the mix. You know, a lot of people say he's going to be champion. And guess what? He's champion. So we can look at that too. A lot of guys was hitting me up, said, man, hey, DDP is the truth. So, hey, all the guys who hit me up and go, hey, DDP is the guy. Hey, he got the belt. He's the guy. Right? So, but like I said, hey, it is what it is. Right? So it was interesting the way how all this stuff unfolded. So we see where we go from here. Right? But that's all I got, man. I want to throw that shit out because, yeah, 2024 is going to continue to be crazy. So we'll see where we go next. All right, that's all I got. This is Coach D doing what I'm doing, calling it like I see it, talking my share of shit. To hear from me again, peace out.